Wow, it's time to make a new space on this shelf. Season 20 is going in that slot. Yeah, season 20. Now, this news will be very amusing for uh, long-time viewers of this channel because we've been talking about the possibility of season 20 being the next in the Doctor Who The Collection Blu-ray box set series for the last three years. Yeah, the whole thing started when Janet Fielding posted a tweet about going to Amsterdam or something like that. And of course, everyone thought, oh, wow, season 20 must be next. It must be next. But of course, those clever people at BBC Studios are always working ahead of time. They're always grabbing stuff when they can. And so that's why we can't assume that when we hear a snippet about something, it means it's going to be the next box set. Anyway, season 20. Let's have a look at what the serials are in season 20, what the cover art looks like, and the special features. The first thing to say is that this is a bumper box set. Nine discs in this beauty and the serials are as follows. Ark of Infinity, Snake Dance, Mordrin Undead, Terminus, Enlightenment, The King's Demons and The Five Doctors. Can you tell by my reading of those titles which particular story I'm most excited about? <laughs> <laughs> the Five Doctors. Now, of course, as always, I want you to get down in comments and tell me how you feel about this news. So how do I feel about it? Um, pretty good, but season 20 was kind of around the time I was starting to zone out of Doctor Who back in the day. Weirdly, I've only seen most of these stories once. I've been back to Ark of Infinity, which I rather like, but apart from that, Snake Dance, Mordrin, Terminus, Enlightenment, and even the King's Demons. I don't know why I said even the King's Demons there. Um, I haven't seen since broadcast, I'm pretty sure, or maybe it's been about 20 years or something. Hard to tell when you're as old as I am. But of course, I've been back to watch The Five Doctors many times. So for me, a lot of this stuff is gonna be pretty fresh and, and yeah, I'll be reevaluating it kind of 40 years later and trying to work out what I make of it. Looking forward to that. Right then, let's have a look at the uh, the front cover of this set. You might have noticed that this is a bit of a lo-fi production compared to what my channel videos usually look like. But I think if that's the only way I can get a video made, then hopefully you prefer that. Would you? Let me know down in comments. I think this is a beautiful cover. Oh, really, really lovely. Yes, Peter Davison looks really good and the colors are great. The pink and blue, half and half. And I can't wait to have a look at these uh, these enemies here in the Doctor's chest, even though I probably won't know who half of them are. Let's see, eh? Let's see how embarrassing this is. Well, I know who I know who this character is here. This is Omega, and uh, Omega's looking good. I rather like his look in um, Ark of Infinity, although I would much have preferred him to have kept his uh, his mask from the Three Doctors. Uh, that does look much better and much more iconic, if I'm honest. There's the Mara ready for the kill. I wonder if there'll be new uh, snake um, effects in uh, Snake Dance in the same way they did for Kinder. I would bet the smart money on that. Now uh, here's Mordrin, I'm pretty sure, played by David Collins. Is that his brain poking out the top? I can't remember. I don't think it is, is it? Uh, the Master is looking good there. That's a really good shot of uh, Anthony Ainley. Look at the madness in his eyes. Oh, the sweet insanity, Doctor. <laughs> that sounded a bit more like William Hartnell, didn't it? There is the cyber leader. Oh, I love the cyber leader. Nice to see the cyber leader taking the front, the front position there. Very good. And there's a good old Dalek. We can't, you can't beat a Dalek. Even though there's only one Dalek in the entire season, it's good to have the Dalek on there. And this guy here, I can't remember his name. I know he's from Terminus, but who is he? No idea. Let me know in comments. That'd be lovely. Cheers. Yeah, I think that's a really handsome cover. It's going to look great. And let's have a look at the 3D pack shot here so we can see a bit inside the set. Oh, the, um, the cover of the um, booklet holder there looks lovely with the four doctors all together with uh, Peter Davison, John Pertwee, Patrick Troughton and uh, Richard Herndall, of course, standing in for the late William Hartnell. And the, the cover of the booklet looks, uh, looks, looks quite nice, yeah, with uh, Peter Davison, the fifth doctor and his companions, including, of course, Chameleon. Yes, I'm excited about this cover and this box set, and I'm even more excited to find out what the special features are. Will you stay with me for a minute while we have a look at those? Hmm, lovely. <laughs> for me, the most exciting special feature here is um, a pretty big one, a 40th anniversary edition of the five doctors. A brand new version of the 90 minute anniversary special with updated special effects, Dolby Atmos and surround sound, plus an exclusive new commentary with Peter Davison, Janet Fielding and Mark Strickson. Now, of course, we've already had a, a new version of uh, The Five Doctors on DVD with updated special effects. So I'm kind of curious as to how updated these will be and 
Hmm, I wonder. What do you think about that? I think that's an interesting talking point. I'd love to do a live stream at some point. I'm really missing the live streams. Unfortunately, life is kind of really taking time. Life is a big old time suck at the moment, but I want to do more stuff for you. There are also updated 2023 special effects for Snake Dance and Enlightenment. Of course, I'd be none the wiser, really. I haven't seen them since uh, 1983. <laughs> There's a behind the sofa for all the stories, I assume, with Peter Davison, Colin Baker, Sylvester McCoy, oh, three doctors, that's nice, Sarah Sutton, Janet Fielding, Mark Strickson, Katie Manning, and Sophie Aldridge. How wonderful. Of course, the Blu-ray trailer will be on the set. Um, I haven't seen that yet, but you'll probably have seen that by the time you watch this video. Time travel, eh? The Matt Sweet interview is interesting this time. It says Matt Sweet chats to Janet Fielding and Sarah Sutton together or separately it makes it sound like together which is interesting has that been done before two people being interviewed by matthew not sure there's another special feature called let's go dutch in which the tardis crew travel to amsterdam to revisit the locations and reminisce about the shooting of season 20 and their time on the show so of course arc of infinity was partly shot in amsterdam and that's why janet fielding posted about having been to amsterdam and of course everyone got excited and they only had to wait three years for the box set. Look who's driving. Join Peter Davison, Janet Fielding and Sarah Sutton on a hilarious European road trip. Yeah, I'm actually up for that. They've got a funny relationship, those three, haven't they? Janet Fielding chats to Martin Clunes, 40 years on from his appearance in Snake Dance. That's really nice. I wouldn't have thought Martin Clunes would have been all that interested in talking about Doctor Who 40 years later, but it's great that he is. Um, there's a making of the King's Demons. Um, the regular cast returned to the castle location and reminisce. Now, I can't remember whether that was on the DVD. Anyone know? Uh, making the season 20 trailer. A look behind the scenes of the trailer. Wow. There's long leaked celebration footage. That's a, a previously unreleased look at the iconic 1983 convention with panels including Peter Davison, Tom Baker, Patrick Troughton, John Pertwee and many more. Yeah, that'll be pretty good. Wow, this box set is actually pretty tasty, isn't it? Hours of studio footage showing us the production of Ark of Infinity, Snake Dance and the Five Doctors, location film rushes from the Five Doctors, rare convention footage including Australian interviews with Peter Davison and Janet Fielding shot during production of this season. God, there's loads of stuff on this set. Once Upon a Time Lord, um, a rare US documentary from the 1980s, new 5.1 surround mixes, uh, we mentioned that. Oh, one of them is on Snake Dance as well as the Five Doctors. Archive treats, hours of rare and previously unreleased material from the BBC archives, uh, high def photo galleries, infotext, I love a bit of infotext, PDF archive scripts and all that good stuff, and lots more. And then it says, yeah, this nine disc box set also includes hours of special features previously released on DVD. Yeah, so that means that the ones I've just read, I think, are new to Blu-ray. And that's really cool, I must admit, that's pretty good. And it's nice to see a new making of. I love it when they make a new making of. Yeah, making making ofs. Do more making of making ofs. Thank you. So, like I said, get down in comments and tell me what you think of this news. I will be replying to every single message. So, get down there, tell me what you think. And while you're at it, don't forget to embrace your obsession.